Hey man, what's good, bro? It's your boy, Derek Branch, St. Scott's on Strikes Up Sports. Um, tough night, tough night yesterday uh, for the black and gold. Lost again, officially on a, a two game losing streak um, against another opponent from the AFC South. Um, Jacksonville Jaguars, 31 24 was the, the final score. It's um wild man. It's wild. That was a wild ending, man. That game had everything in it. You know, drama, frustration, excitement, encouragement, disappointment. The whole nine yards, man. Uh, but the Saints couldn't get it done, man. Couldn't get it done. Um, kind of um, a repeat of what we have seen. The last couple of games, you know, a uh, team that takes a long time to get going, you know, but it is what it is. Um, prior to the season started, when I first saw that schedule and I saw the Jaguars on it, I kind of circled this as a loss. But after, you know, leading up to the game, the actual game, I kind of, you know, felt like the Saints could have pulled it off. And they could have done that. They could have. They had the chances, man. Numerous chances in the red zone to pull that game off. To put up points. You know? But I'm going to start off with the defense, man. Breaking down what happened with the defense. Um, a lot of people are not talking about this. You know, they're giving the defense their props. And rightfully so. But they can they cannot afford to be to, to not show up in this first, these first two quarters of the game, man. They can't afford it. The team can't afford it to be playing bad defense again in the, in the first and second quarters of the game because um, the offense, I know yesterday was an outlier, but the offense takes too much time to get going to get productive. It takes that offense at least three, four quarters to like figure out what they want to do. It just does. You know what I'm saying? Um, hopefully, man, they can get the stuff fixed these next couple of uh, weeks, man. It took the offense to defense too long to get going, man, to get, get things figured out. On how they're going to defend an opposing team, you know, because this team is not at the point where they can race a, um, a deficit and win a game. Shoot, they can't even. Um, I know you give up. Every, it, it, sometimes it's, it's, it's you know by nature you know to give up a play or two there, a touchdown there, to play a touchdown or two there. But this team, this offense, can't even erase. Have problems in racing, you know, a 13 point deficit. If they lay, like, if they're down 10 0, 17 0, 13 0, 13 6, it's gonna take them at least three quarters to like put up points, put up touchdowns, you know. So that's the problem, that's the issue right there. Offense, the defense not coming in sync, and they at least the first two quarters of a the game, they gotta set the tone. You know, but it is what it is. Like I keep saying. All right, offense. Derek Carr, man, man, it's really taking this dude a long time to get things figured out. A long time to get things under control with this team, with being the conductor of that offense. A long time. You know, this that's seven games right there. We just played. We're saying just played seven games. And it's taking this this guy forever to understand this offense. And you know, people were saying, you know, uh, that that offense he ran with the Raiders when John Gruden was the coach was some was similar to what Sean Payton ran. Um, I cannot tell. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it was just a lot of things going down yesterday. 
you know, car yelling on the sidelines, being frustrated. Chris Olave, you know, running the wrong routes. Play calling is still an issue to a certain extent. Um, but on the bright side, I did like what I saw in the second half when they 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 they, they woke up, got a touchdown on the board. That kind of provides some a spunk to the team, to, to the entire team, you know. But it was too late by that time. I'm gonna say, yeah, it was too late. You know, you could have done that in the first two quarters. You know, it's like I said, it goes back to what I said. It takes this team, takes that offense too long to start being productive. They got to do that in the first, first and second quarters, man. You know, Foster Moreau, man, you got to catch that, man. You got to catch that, bro. That was in your. All else in your hands, bro. You know, um, you gotta catch it, man. You know, that just that was a gut punch right there to me, man. I saw that play, man. I saw that replay. I'm just like, man, had it, man. You almost had it, bro. You know, man. But dust yourself off, bro. I know you felt you felt really bad, man, after that game, after um, what occurred. You had to console him on the sideline. You had to walk him back to the locker room. He was down. It was a gut punch, you know. But um, there's always next game. There's always, you know, uh, always gonna be more opportunities for you to redeem yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just they gotta get it right, man. They gotta get it right. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, you know what I'm saying. Uh, we gonna, we gonna, I'm gonna in the later video in the day. Hopefully, I'm gonna talk about you know forecasting the rest of the season and see how things can play out with these next couple of games. But they gotta, um, they gotta lock in, bro. They gotta lock in. You know, crazy as, as it is, man, it's still in it. It's three and four. You can get back into it in no time, but can they do it? You know, because when I, like I said before, the AFC South, when I saw that thing, that, that schedule when it came out, that this AFC South teams on it, I'm like, man, that should, they should at least go three and three and one against that division, man. But they're one and two. And each team in that division has given the Saints problems. Each of them Tennessee, Houston. Jacksonville, each and every one of those teams, can it be the same thing? Could it, will it be the same for Indianapolis? We'll see. I'm, I'm, my plan to go with it is to be down there for that game, drive up there, a road trip, and, and check that game out in person, support the team. But they got to get it together, man. They got to get it together, bro, because this thing could slip away from them. It could easily slip away from them. Real talk, man. It's you know the march for error gets slimmer and slimmer by the by the day, by the weeks. If they don't take care of business, three and four, you still in it. You still into it. Dennis Allen, I don't think they're gonna change OCs. Um, I think yesterday um, saved Pete Carmichael the way they, they they came out in that uh, second half. You know they they kind of did like an op tempo, um, a hurry up offense. You know, or incorporate some things, you know, here and there. But they can't do that every time. That's that's you know a lot of risk. You assume a lot of risk with that. You know, all that moving, fast moving like that. You know what I'm saying? But they gotta go. They gotta wake up, man. They gotta wake up. They gotta they get these they get these ten days off, I believe, to the next game to figure some things out, get some things in order. You know, get. Chris Alave back on track, man. Him and Derek Carr gotta get it, get it, get it right, man. You know, Michael Thomas is still him, bro. He showed that last night. It's good to see Michael Thomas back on the field, healthy, consistent, putting and producing. You know, Jimmy Graham. What will we brought back Jimmy Graham for? Just to bring him back, just to, the sound to feel good. Get this guy involved, man. You know, six 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 seven on uh, tight end. He still do things in the red zone. 
I don't know what was the um, idea of calling that type of play the Alave in that situation on four down, a fade pass to him to cover the, I mean, he, that's not the right guy to go to. You know, it just, I do hope um, Carmichael for that. You know, but I think he's safe for right now, man. Next game is a absolutely must win. And I'm glad that it is because I'm going to be down there to watch a game that's, you know, I got some type of intrigue to it. I got a, a sense of urgency to it. He has to win. They have to win that game. That's a must win game. And Indianapolis is going to have a, is a really good team when they're when running the football. Um, Maybe Jonathan Taylor's back by then. I don't know. But your boy, um, Zach, Mo that, Zach Moss, killing it right now. They're running back. Killing it. You know? Um, be glad that Anthony Richardson, Anthony Richardson ain't playing. You know? But I'll talk about that game, breaking that game, that, that game down later in the week. But tough loss for the Saints. Um, I saw a little bit. I was, I was encouraged a little bit to a certain extent. But I was kind of disappointed that the way it ended because he tied, he catch he catch that touchdown, tie that game. Saints get the ball back. Saints for winning in overtime, you know. But we'll see how it's gonna play out um, and down the road. All right, all right. That's all I have for y'all for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel. <clears throat> what was your thoughts on yesterday's loss? Dane Saints is still fire Pete Carmichael. Um, check out Saints Strike Seven Sports.com for us last Saints. Glaze content in the wall Saints organization. Have a blessed day. Day. Peace. I'm out with that.